Hey guys, it's Daniel here from Perth DMS. I'm just going to review some software that I use for my video editing. Um, the software is called VideoPad Video Editor and it's by NCH Software. Um, NCH offers quite a large range of software, so check him out if you're interested. Alright, I'll go ahead and open a um, project down here. This is one of the vlogs that I've worked on before. Um, I just want to show you guys some stuff. Okay, you can see when you open it, it'll bring your video down to the timeline down below. You can zoom in by zooming as I'm just doing now. And um, then it, you'll see I've spread it one out, so it um, spans about one minute per screen. Um, you can select anywhere along the timeline like this if you want to select a single snapshot or go to a specific spot. Um, then you can press play like I've just done there. So um, um, pressing play just like I've done there will allow you to um, play and pause from the spot you selected along the timeline and where that red bar is. Um, if I wanted to chop my video into an editor part out, I press split like this and then I can play or either drag to the next selection and then press split again and what that's going to do is single out that specific spot which I've chosen to delete or edit and that once you've pressed split for the second time that will highlight that clip and you'll be able to view it up in the second window on the top left. Um, right clicking on the clip will allow you to remove it and when you do so it's going to automatically join the two conjoining clips together and so you can create a kind of like seamless effect if you want to edit out mistakes you've made in your video editing. Down here you'll find your audio bar. This is the audio track that's going to come straight from your video. You can't take the video away from the audio, which actually is why I'm using my um, iPhone right now. But what you can do is in fact is fade in and fade out by right clicking and press fade in or fade out and then you just select the time you wish to um, fade in and fade out for. Um, by right clicking again you can choose adjust clip volume. This will allow you to um, change the clip volume either down or you can either adjust it above the recorded level. Also you can press mute as well if you want to completely mute the clip which could be handy if you're filming underwater or something. Um, you can also take a snapshot of the video just by pressing this button here. Um, this will allow this once you press this button it's going to save the photo up into your media list and this photo can then be used again in different videos or even the same videos I'll show you now. Now by pressing overlay you can add text or images to your video um, just by typing it in here. Then you can also change the size, you can also change the colours as I'm doing now. Um, now you can also change the position of where you want the text in a thing. So I see I found it down here. I can adjust the size of it. I can make it long, make it short. I can change where I've put it along the video in case I've put it in the wrong spot. Um, I've just deleted it there. So now I'll show you what it looks like to get an image. You can press browse to select your own pictures from your own computer. Or if you want to choose a snapshot that we took before, just simply drag it from the media list onto the clip. And now scroll down here under the overlay tab and it's going to have the picture, I don't know if you can quite see it there, where I've circled just there, it's in slightly transparent at the moment. So you want to drag opacity up, and that will make it so it's not see-through anymore, and you can see it nice and clearly on top of your other image. Now you can change the positioning of it just by clicking around on these arrow buttons, and that's going to change where it's located in your video. You can also change the size by dragging this bar up and down. Now by pressing the plus button you can then add another layer, like I'm going to try adding text as well as the video at the same, um, same place. So I've added the text there and now I want to go, i change the size of it, and now I want to go down to um, my video and drag that on top. Now you'll see the um, text and the video are both in the same spot, obviously if it was an actual video you'd want your text on top of the video but that's fine for just for some um, test purposes. Now I'll just delete these clips. Now you can also add some pretty cool effects and transitions to your videos. To do this, just select your video and then press effects. Now it's going to give you a whole list of them. I'm just going to show you speed for today because that's the one that's probably most commonly used. Okay, you can select to play the clip backwards if you want to play your clip in reverse, which is kind of a cool effect. Or you can drag the speed bar to change the actual speed. Just click apply changes and then you'll see that green loading bar is how much it's um, rendered of this new video, video speed because obviously it's going to change the length of the video. 
Okay, I'll show you guys how to add a quick audio track to the bottom in case you want some different music for your um, video. Just press Add Media up the top left and then locate exactly where your um, media music is located. I mean, for example, I've got mine under my um, Perth DMS folder under Usable Music because I've chosen music that doesn't infringe any copyrights. Um, that will put the music just in your time bar. You can then press play to preview your selected clip. And then to add it to the timeline, you simply drag it down to um, the soundtrack one bar. Okay, you can then split the clip and edit it the same way you would split and edit your video clips. You can then delete, but the only difference is you'll actually have to drag the clips to conjoin them, unlike the video where it will automatically conjoin the two um, clips. You can also do fade in, fade out effects, and you can see here where it's actually faded in and faded out. It'll add that little yellow line. Um, to save the movie, simply click on Save Movie, press Browse, just choose where you'd like to save the movie. Then you can choose a preset for different qualities. Maybe if you're going to do YouTube, you can select your HQ, widescreen, or your internet video. What I usually do is leave it custom, set the video quality to AVI, and then set the resolution to 720. Also, the frame rate, you want to set to about 30 because that will make your smoothest video possible. So AVI, 1080 by 720 and 30 frames per second. And then just press OK. I'll press cancel because I don't want to save this clip. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that short preview of NCH VideoPad. Um, it is my first review of some software, so I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, come to my channel and subscribe if you want to see some more of my videos. Um, appreciate watching this clip, and I hope you learned something. Thank you, and goodbye.